Good morning, students. Let's move on to the next topic, that is, transparent, translucent, and opaque objects. When light falls on a given object, the resulting effect is different for different objects. Okay. Now, the we'll see what are these objects. The first object is transparent object. What are transparent objects? The materials which allow light to pass through them are called transparent materials like glass. Glass is a transparent materials. Air. Air is transparent. That is why we can see through air. Cellophane, papers, sheets, then the window panes, uh, glass tumblers, test tubes, all this pure water. All these are transparent objects. Why? Because we can see through them very clearly. Translucent objects are the objects which allow only some amount of light to pass through them. Examples are butter paper. You uh, Children, you try to uh, look through a butter paper or any paper, you put some oil in that and try to look through the oiled paper. You will not be able to see clearly through these objects. Why is it so? Because these objects are translucent, a smoked glass, a tissue paper. All these are translucent objects. Opaque objects, the materials which do not allow any light to pass through them are called as opaque objects. That means through opaque objects, we cannot see anything like a book, wall, cardboard sheets, wood, table. All these are examples of opaque materials because you cannot see through this. Uh, children, you can do one activity at home. You have to take a clean glass and first fill it with water. After filling it with water, you take a lighted torch and light the torch and look through the glass. Will you be able to see through the glass? Yes, of course, you will be able to see clearly through the glass. Why? Because glass as well as water which you have filled in this, they both are transparent. Now throw that water and then you fill the glass with milk. And again you put a lighted torch. Now will you be able to see through this? You will be able to see through this but not very clearly. Why? Because milk is translucent. And finally in the next glass you fill the glass with tea. And again you put a lighted torch and try to see through that glass. You will see that you are not able to see anything through that glass. Why is it so? Because tea is opaque. Okay. So water is transparent, milk is translucent and tea is opaque. Now the property of light is that light always travels in a straight light. Children, you go to a dark room and take a torch and switch on the torch. What will you be able to see? You can see a circle of light in front of you. If you move the torch around to your right or you will move it towards your left, you will be able to see objects on your right and then left respectively. So why is it that you always see only the objects which are only in front of the torch? This is because light always travels in a straight line. You can do an activity here. You can take a pipe okay, and take a pipe and then you can light a candle in front of the pipe and keep that pipe and try to look at the flame you will be able to see at the flame clearly and if you take a bent pipe you won't be able to see here you have taken three cardboards of equal size and you have made a very small or a tiny hole in the center of each cardboard and you have to place them on a table with the help of a support and when you place them you have to take care that these cardboards are in a straight line and then you have to light a candle at one side of the table and try to look through this flame 
you will be able to see this flame when all these three holes or the cardboards are placed in a straight line if you move any of the cardboard here and or there kisi ko bhi idhar udhar kar do then you won't be able to see this flame why is it so the reason is that light always travels in a straight line so this is the property of light to travel in a straight line and this is called as rectilinear propagation of light about rectilinear propagation of light you will study in detail about this in your next class so for today we will wind up children the rest will continue in the next class thank you